this is Nablus here, and welcome to this Wheel of Time video. Uh, now this is a little different of a video because this one isn't geared to all you fanboys and fangirls like myself, but more uh, everyone else who hasn't read this series. As you can see by the title of this video, we are going to take a look at the top five reasons why you should pick up and read Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Before we get started, let's get a few things out of the way. First and foremost, this video has a spoiler rating green, meaning there are no spoilers of any kind, so feel free to watch this video without knowing that you're not going to have any part of the series spoiled for you. And I also want to get some other stuff on the table here before we get started. First of all, clearly, I am totally biased. Um, I am a total Wheel of Fine, Wheel of Fine, Wheel of Fine fan, or Wheel of time fanboy this has not only been my favorite series for the past 20 years but i have read this series more than 11 times i'm working on number 12 going through the audiobooks right now so i want to be clear this is not going to be an unbiased review or anything like that this is really more of the reasons why i think that you should pick up and read the series but before we get into our list let's talk a little bit about the the series generally here before we jump in first of all wheel of time was written by james rigney uh, under the pen name of robert jordan originally intended to be a three book series <laughs> The series stretched out to be a total of 14 full-length novels, uh, one prequel novel in addition to a companion guide, graphic novels, and, and short novellas to accompany the series. In fact, Robert Jordan actually died before the series could be completed uh, of a rare blood disorder called amyloidosis. Thankfully, Brandon Sanderson, who's an extremely popular author himself, chosen by Harriet, who's Robert Jordan's widow, to, to complete the final three novels. Um, so yeah, obviously that's a lot of book. Um, and so if you've never read the series, you may be saying to yourself, I can't get involved with anything that long. That's a whole lot of reading and to which I would say this video is for you. Um, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the top five reasons why I believe you should read Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Hopping in at number five on our list of the top five reasons you should read Wheel of Time, the massive popularity of the series. Now, this is not just some random book series. Uh, in fact, it's the second best selling fantasy series of all time. Uh, it only trails Lord of the Rings. With 90 million plus copies sold, it makes Wheel of Time actually more popular than A Song of Ice and Fire, also known as Game of Thrones, despite Game of Thrones benefiting from a massively popular TV show. I'll put more on that later. Of those 14 novels I told you about, books 8 through 14 all reached number one on the New York Times bestseller list. This is a pretty darn popular series. In fact, it got nominated for a Hugo Award, which is kind of like the Oscars of the fantasy and science fiction genre. Biggest reason here is obviously when you were growing up, your parents said, to you hey you should do what everybody else is doing and everybody else is reading this so you should too coming in at number four let's talk characters and development so any book this long is going to have a ton of characters but more importantly there's a good amount of depth driven with each of these characters so let's do some math here real quick there are 147 unique points of view in the series with the top six characters in the series getting 60 point of view chapters a piece minimum again 60 chapters minimum for each of the different top six characters. So that's crazy. The four character, the four main characters, I should say, um, all get a minimum of 486,000 words a piece throughout the series. Now, well, why is that significant? Well, Lord of the Rings itself, the trilogy, is 450,000 words long total. The top four characters get more words than the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. So yeah, there's a lot of screen time with these characters, but why is that important? Well, for one, it allows us to get in their heads, uh, learn their personalities, <laughs> You get pissed off at them, fall in love with them. One of the things Robert Jordan is an absolute master of is the unreliable narrator. And it gives each character in the story a distinct voice. Now I'm not gonna get into a full review and get in depth with each of the characters, but what I will say right now is that you're gonna love, you're gonna hate these characters, uh, but you're gonna see the development that they go through from the very beginning of the series to the very end. And it's literally unparalleled in the genre. If you're a fan of strong characters, development, then you are absolutely going to love the Wheel of Time series. Number three on our list, world building. So this is the thing that Robert Jordan and the Wheel of Time are probably the most known for. Robert J Jordan is universally considered the GOAT. <laughs> when it comes to the development of his world and the detail of each culture. So again, let's get into some math here. There are 20 distinct current nations with different cultures, beliefs, geography that are all explored in detail throughout the series. Uh, but the attention to detail in crafting these cultures is simply incredible. And that's just the current cultures. Uh, you're going to learn about the history of the world, the previous cultures, nations, empires that existed long in the past. Like the detail is unreal. Uh, in addition to the nations and cultures, the magic system is one of the most unique, well-defined, 
refined and most interesting hard magic systems in all of fantasy writing. The way in which you learn the details about how Aes Sedai can channel the one power, the limitations of the things that can be done, the things that can be done, just the way that it ties in with character development is just nuts. If you love the idea of, again, I'll use Game of Thrones because it's popular. If you love the world of that of that show and the different kingdoms and the cultures and the different side plots and things like that, you're going to love the world building in Wheel of Time. Uh, this is, and I don't feel like I'm stretching to say this, this is pretty much universally considered the gold standard when it comes to world building. Number two, intricate plot. So when you have 15 novels, you're bound to have some pretty crazy plot, a lot happening, and but let's get into some specifics here. So in the novel, there are 2,782 named characters in the series with 147 distinct points of view. That's crazy. And while the main plot of the series is fairly simple, there are so many side plots, stories, adventures, that it's easy to get lost in everything that's going on. But what makes the series so brilliant is by the end of book 14, A Memory of Light, uh, this is the final book in the series, these plots are so neatly tied up and contribute to the crazy ending of a series that was more than 20 years in the making. If you're a fan of watching little foreshadowing events happen here and there throughout a book series to all see it come together at the end, you're gonna love this plot. Because we all know where the series is headed from the very beginning. You'll know that within the first 10 chapters uh, of reading Eye of the World, the first book, but you never really have an idea of how it's going to end until you get there. So if you're someone that likes twists, you like really cool foreshadowing, you love to see the way a plot kind of comes together, you are absolutely going to love the way the plot unfolds in the Wheel of Time series. And finally, number one on our list of the top five reasons why you should pick up and read the Wheel of Time series, just like A Song of Ice and Fire before it, Wheel of Time has been picked up for a TV series. Sony Television and Amazon Studios have picked up Wheel of Time here recently, so it should be coming to Amazon Prime somewhere here in the next couple years. So this is gonna give you plenty of time to tackle the series before the show comes out, because we all know that the book is almost always better than the movie. So this is the perfect time to get started. Now I'll probably do another video on everything that we know so far so you can get caught up to date, but here's some basics. The showrunner for the series is gonna be Rafe Judkins. He's a writer, uh, he's got credit to him, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which he He's done a pretty good job on um, and the big thing that's got me excited about it as a super fan is he is also a super fan of the series he posts weekly on twitter on wednesdays what wednesday updates on the series and the progress for the show so far we don't know anything about the budget yet but what we do know is that amazon has also picked up a lord of the Rings series and they're devoting a billion dollars to that show so if that's any indication will time is going to have a massive budget um, and it's gonna need that to do this series properly. So for those of us that have been hoping for years to see this done right, all indications so far is that it will be. So we have reasons for hope. So that's it. My top five reasons why you should pick up the Wheel of Time series and give it a read. Uh, but hey, I wanna level with y'all. Um, my full intention for starting this channel and making this video is really just to generate interest and get a chance to talk about a series that I love. It's literally been life-changing for me reading this book series over the last 20 years and I love the community. Um, and I love the fact that there's a, a show series coming out. I just can't tell you how excited how much we've been dreaming about this for years. So I'm super excited about it. And hopefully this channel will get you excited too. So if you're uh, new to the series, I encourage you to, to watch some of the videos. Again, I'll always let you know if there are spoilers. If you're not new to the series and you just want to hear about Wheel of Time stuff and you want to get a chance to talk about it, I, I invite you to follow me. But for those of you that are new and if you're watching this video, hopefully this made you feel like, hey, I want to pick that book series up and start reading it. Well, I'm going to help you out with that. Because I've got a new channel, I'm going to do a little bit of a contest here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give out a free copy of the first book, uh, Eye of the World. Um, that's popping up there on the screen right now. Uh, there's a limited edition copy that uh, Barnes & Noble make that I love. Um, and I will send one out here uh, to a random person. Here's, here's how you can get in the contest. Go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the video, and then leave a comment below uh, just letting me know if you're new to the series or if you've read it before. Um, and I'm going to randomly select one of the first hundred people and send you a copy of the special edition of The Eye of the World. I'll, I'll mail it out to you wherever you are in the world. We'll get it out to you here. I'll announce the winner in another video. And then I'll shoot you a message and we'll get you out the copy here. In general, if you like the video and you want to see more Wheel of Time content and videos, please like and subscribe. That'll help this channel grow. And let me know in the comments also if there are any topics that you want me to hit about the Wheel of Time series. And yeah. So thanks again, guys. It was out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do. I'm the mistress of